It has been a weekend of closure for family and friends of Irene Garza. Channel 5's Christian Von Preisen explains that they had a chance to say their piece to a man the jury had sentenced. After 57 years, it's hard even now. We went to catechism together. We went to the same church. It's hard for Irene Garza's former boyfriend to speak directly to his girlfriend's killer. Her beauty was inside her because that's what her family was like. That's how she grew up. Arturo Torres says he knew Irene Garza since they were five years old. They went to prom together and they dated senior year. She was a devout Catholic like her mother. She learned to respect the clergy. I'm really happy that the jury sentenced you for life. But you know what? That's not anywhere near what you did to Irene. Because you only, not only deprived her of her life, but you deprived everybody in this in this room and everybody in this town. Everybody loved Irene. On this Friday, immediately after John Fight's sentencing, the court allowed people to address the convict directly. It's the only setting that, that they're going to have a chance to do that. For catharsis, to vent, to get it off your chest. Any other setting, um, it's just not as controlled as, as the way a courtroom is going to be. The reminder of Irene Garza comes back every Sunday. Every time I go in that church, I think about her. This old boyfriend says he prays for her. I'm glad that you're not going to see the light of day for a long time. He said what he feels. He leaves knowing he's confronted his girlfriend's killer. Victim in background. Very well. Maybe Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News at 6.